Ah, oh, the glorious sounds of an English summer. The thwack of mallet on ball. The weak applause that accompanies yet another sporting humiliation. Oh yes, and the mighty roar of dirty great motorbikes. to the Bulldog Bash. No, no need to call the RSPCA. Think of the Goodwood Festival of Speed, but with tattoos and a nipple ring. For 10 years now, bikers have been converging on Stratford and Avon, not to have the picket taken outside Anne Hathaway's cottage, but to party with a vengeance, hammer the machines down the quarter mile, and prove once and for all whether they're a hero or a zero. You see, bulldog bashing is a participation sport, and while the sun shines, the action centres around Avon Park's quarter mile drag strip. For most of the weekend, the queue stretches longer than the track, with bikes from Europe, America, and inevitably Japan waiting to join in battle. It's a good chance to check out the opposition, which is sometimes even more serious than it first seems. It's quite a stock fireblade, is it? No, it's a bit trick. It's got a nitrous oxide system on it, uh, which produces about 180 brake horsepower at the rear wheel. <laughs> yeah. So what sort of time do you reckon it'll run here today? Should break into the low, uh, well, into the tens, really. Into the tens? Into the tens, yeah. It's a Ducati. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's built for the twisty bits, not this sort of business. No, it does the twisty bits as well. It's been around Padwell Park a few times. But it's good fun to see a Ducati on the drag strip as well, give it some stick. And quick enough, yes? Yeah, I've been doing today, I've been doing lane point fives. Um, it has done less than that, we had 50 kilos taken off, it was completely stripped. But now, because I use it every day on the road, it has to be practical. But a Ducati is a lovely, fluffy little kitten compared to the man-eating Bengal tigers that are the full-on drag bikes. There's a lot of Japanese tackle in this game, there's even the odd Brit. And they don't come much odder than Top Cat. Powered by a 750cc Triumph lump and boosted by nitrous oxide and the Marshall supercharger, it claws its way through the standing quarter in 9.5 seconds. But the big guns in this game are the Top Fuel Harley Davidsons. To make a Top Fuel hog, take one Harley and replace everything that can't handle a thousand horsepower, which basically everything. The bike to beat belongs to Ben Bernecki. It's not very really comfortable, is it? No, no, really. I suppose it only lasts for a few seconds, doesn't no, it? You're looking for like seven seconds on there. And, yeah. and this this button here is the, the, gear, the gear shifter, shifter. The air shifter. So it's a two yeah. speed. Two speed. 700 horsepower, sit there on the line. And then it's all on the lights. Nothing else exists except that Christmas tree and a quarter mile of tarmac. And it's so tree. Inevitably, someone dared me to have a go. Oh dear. Thank goodness it was only a 1600cc, 150 horsepower RMD Harley. I knew it was time to don my helmet and do battle for the honour of Top Gear. But first, I had to do a burnout. Now we will look a bit nervous, it's because it was my first time and there were 3,000 people watching, all of them dying for me to make a prat of myself. My opponent was a dragging veteran. But my eccentric technique at the start line spooked him and I streaked into the lead. I crossed the line in 12.5 seconds at 125 miles an hour and immediately retired unbeaten from my drag racing career. But the Bulldog Bash is about much more than going tonto on the tarmac. It's become one of the cornerstones of biking culture, a gathering of the leather clad clans. And last summer was the Bash's 10th birthday. When we first put it together, we wanted to do something other than a motorcycle, static motorcycle show, and the obvious thing was to go to a drag strip where people could actually enjoy the whole biking experience all day long, round it off with a few bands, and it's a good formula, I think, and it must have worked because people come back in greater numbers every year. I think people have gotten used to us coming here, and they realise that no one's going to go around and rake their daughters, rob their houses and it works very well. And we get a lot of people who come on, a lot of locals who come on the site, look forward to it every year and have a very good time. And in the evening, the bash goes on. Up on stage, a series of bands manfully work their way through the White Snake songbook. As well as song, there's wine and women, or you can just waste your money. There are enough spares and tuning goodies to build several very odd new motorcycles. Leather goods that offer the rider protection, 
or stimulation. And because biking is such thirsty work, there's no shortage of places where you can have a pint or three thousand. Of course, no English day out is complete without a souvenir to take home. But somehow, I don't think a stick of rock or a tea towel really says Bulldog Bash. I think I'm looking for something a bit more permanent. That's Mother, M-U-T-H-A. Don't worry, Mum, it's only pretend for the telly.